everybody. As you can tell, today I look a little different because I've got my glasses on and there's a nice glare in the lenses and I apologize about that. I cannot figure out what the best way. Maybe I'll just hold my head like this the rest of the video. Today's video is going to be all about Warby Parker. My experience and a brand rundown for you about what Warby Parker glasses are. Okay. Disturbing. Unfortunately, I had this great idea that I was gonna film with my glasses on the whole time, but the glare in the window is really, really bad, and I don't want you to be distracted by that, so we're just gonna stick them on my head, and you can just remember that this video is about glasses. So for those of you who don't know about Warby Parker, it is a really awesome business model, and the whole idea was founded by these two guys who wanted to make glasses cheaper for everybody because they realized that they're going to the eye doctor and Glasses are a necessity. I mean, I couldn't go through school if I didn't have my glasses. I wouldn't have been able to see the board. I wouldn't have been able to drive if I didn't have glasses. And so they saw this great need and they met it. Because as you well know, once you go to the eye doctor, they have these cute little boutiques that sit outside of them and every pair of glasses runs you like $300. And for people who have good insurance coverage, that's great. It might get them a cheaper deal on it, but for those that don't have insurance, it sometimes it's just not feasible. And so these people saw an opportunity to make cheap, trendy glasses and sell them, and they've made a killing. Sorry, I had to take the glasses off because I felt them stretching, and I don't want them to get stretched out because they stay on my head really well right now. So what Warby Parker is, is an online glasses manufacturer and distributor. The frames and Single prescription lenses are gonna run you anywhere from $95 to $145. They're pretty trendy, basic, classic glasses. Like, I didn't think my glasses were anything too crazy. I mean, they're just tortoise glasses. Maybe they're a little more oversized than some people might like, but I, I don't know. I think they're pretty tasteful and fit my head, which is why I chose them. Warby Parker also has a couple of brick and mortar stores that you can visit. And I've actually compiled a list of all of the locations and I'll have them scrolling down the screen as you watch. But I'll also include a link in the description box below so maybe you can go find a location near you. Because a lot of the articles that I've read online are talking about why you shouldn't use Warby Parker and these are the cons and Da, 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 all these things that you need to think about. So I've tried to compile everything, give you both sides of the story, and explain to you why I do think Warby Parker is a great way to buy glasses. So my frames and I have single prescription lenses cost me $95. Total the end, amen. I know that my last pair of glasses, the frames themselves cost like 200 something. Then once you get the prescription lenses added in, that's an additional cost. And... I mean, glasses are glasses at the end of the day. And yeah, there are a million styles out there and maybe you want the name brand glasses, but I don't remember the last time anybody stopped me on the street and was like, your glasses are Tory Burch. Like you must have the best style. Like, well, mostly they can't say that because I never wear my glasses on the street because I didn't like my glasses before. So that's a huge reason why I got new glasses too. So I'm gonna do a little pro and con for you about Warby Parker. <music> So a huge pro to me is the online convenience of everything. They have this great at-home try-on system that allows you to try on all the different styles and like see how you look in the mirror from every angle without being awkward and being in an eye doctor. And I'm gonna, not an eye doctor, in a glasses store. Uh, recently, we have a brick and mortar Warby Parker like right down the street from where I live. So I just wanted to go check it out because it was stupid to wait and get the glasses sent to me if I had a store close by. And so, my boyfriend was asking me to send him pictures of the glasses so that he could help me pick them out since he's working out of town. And so I'm taking these pictures that I'll just look miserable and maybe I'll be brave and like post one for you, but it's just so awkward when you're in a public setting because I'm not like a take a picture of yourself kind of person. And so I was trying to do it really discreetly and I just ended up looking super miserable in every pair of glasses. So it almost looked like I hated them all when I did it. So if you want to eliminate that awkwardness, you can do this at-home try-on system, which allows you to pick out five pairs of glasses that get sent directly to your door, and you have five days to try them out, to wear them around. Of course, they don't have prescription in them, but 
Um, I know that my mom gets bothered by glasses on her face if sometimes they're too big and she can see them or maybe one pair of glasses is heavier than another and the five days allows you to try out each pair for an entire day, which is great. Then you send the glasses back to them and you go online and you purchase the actual pairs that you like. So once you decide on a pair, they also have an online how-to of how to put in your prescription, how to put in your pupil distance because the pupillary distance and your glasses is super important. I remember in my last pair, um, you go to the eye doctor and they put these little like binocular things on you and they measure exactly the points of your pupils. And if this is off, it can have this huge fishbowl effect to where when you turn from side to side or look up and down, or even if you're staring straight on and it's not in the right place, it's, it's gonna have this weird fishbowl curvature effect on your eyes, which is awful. And I know you're thinking like, well, how? Well, they have a system where you hold up a credit card to your face and that somehow is a good measurement for them, I guess because credit cards are standard sizes. But if you have a brick and mortar store near you, I would suggest going to them or once you get your eyes checked because you have to send in um, an up-to-date prescription or you can't get the glasses. So presumably you will have gone to your eye doctor. So if you go to the eye doctor with Warby Parker in mind, just remember to make sure that your pupillary distance is on your prescription and save yourself all of the trouble. So you send in all of the necessary information and you're not charged for the glasses until they're actually shipped to your house. Because Warby Parker is actually considered an out of network provider for most people, they do allow you to pay with your HSA or other health savings accounts that are eligible. Like if you have a credit card or debit cord, <laughs> or debit card associated with your health savings account, then you can use that to pay. So rather than paying the $95 out of pocket, I use my health savings account to pay. So it was just like insurance was covering it for me, which was really nice. Um, even though $95 out of pocket for something that I'm gonna use all the time and wear all the time, and that's a huge necessity, I still think is a great price point, no matter who you are or whether or not you're covered by insurance. They have trendy glasses for a fair for a fair price point that it won't really matter if they go out of style. And I think that this is huge. I know my mom looks back and laughs at her 80s pictures with her hair and her glasses and all the craziness going on, and you regret it. So I mean, you can still look back on all of your crazy pictures later and regret it, but just know that you regret it for a low price tag. You can also have 30 days once your glasses come in to make sure that they're right for you. If you don't like them at any point during those 30 days, there's a no questions asked return policy. So you return the glasses, you can get a full refund, or maybe you wanna try out a different frame because that one wasn't right for you. Um, another thing that you can return them for is for them to fix that pupillary distance. So if that's wrong, you can send those back in and they'll fix them free of charge. So much like Tom's, if you're familiar with the shoe company, for every pair of glasses that's bought at Warby Parker, they donate glasses to a community in need. And I was reading about this mission and how they donated them, and it's really cool. So unlike a lot of people that donate things sort of willy-nilly, like they just give the stuff to the community, the, this company actually donates them to specific people in the community that want to make a living, that want to have a job. So not only are they giving items to people in need, but they're also creating jobs within those communities. So the people that they sell the glasses to, and yes, they do sell them, because the people that sell the glasses are supposed to use some of the money that they gained from the previous sales to buy their next batch of glasses. So this is teaching the community that you work for your money, because they explain this whole idea in psychology and study that they've run on different companies that have these give back programs and companies that maybe didn't have this entire um, job creation process actually created a community of dependency because they came to expect these things and expect these donations to roll in. And they were also missing huge opportunities to give people jobs who actually wanted to work. And so I think that their give back program is awesome. And we've already talked about what a need it is in our community for a lot of people who can't afford it. So think about the communities that barely even have the option of an eye doctor to go to in general and these people are getting jobs and glasses. So I think their give back program is awesome, spot on. Cons associated with 
Warby Parker have to do mostly with the lack of brick and mortar stores. And I mean, with their list of locations, I think that this is sort of a dying con in my opinion because Warby Parker has gotten so popular and especially with the millennials who are willing to pay um, less for a trendier item rather than investing that $300 in glasses that they may not like later. And you also, another huge thing you have to think about with glasses is that your prescription can change from year to year. And I'm not sure about like I've never well I've never been in a situation where I have bought glasses my prescription changed and I wanted to keep those glasses like three years later most people want to change them so why not change them at that lower price tag so anyway like I said the huge con is that there's a lack of brick-and-mortar stores that's true like you do run the risk of maybe that pupillary distance being off you're sort of having to guess about how things will look on your face but I feel like they've done a huge not a huge, they've done a great job of combating these things by allowing you to try on five pair of glasses. That's pretty generous. Like the odds of you liking more than five pairs of glasses, I think is pretty slim. Maybe I'm pickier than the average person. Uh, but also like the free return policy, like they try to combat every drawback of not having more brick and mortar stores than more people. Because I have a really simple prescription, I could walk into an eye doctor and wait like an hour or so for them to actually create the lenses to go into my glasses. So I could walk out of the eye doctor in the glasses boutique the same day with a new pair of glasses. With Warby Parker, because you're actually having to send them off and order them online because they don't do the actual like prescription part of the glasses in store, you do have to wait a little bit. But mine came in in exactly six days. I ordered them last Monday and I got them on Sunday. You a little idea, a little idea, this is just a normal sized idea, on the fit of these glasses, they actually come in narrow, medium, and wide. So immediately when I was looking on the site, I was like, oh, with my tiny head, I really think I need to go with the narrow fit. Well, when I went into the store, I realized that the medium fit actually fit my head just as well. What I ended up going with was a narrow fit. This is the Sims style, if you're interested in getting this style at all. Um, this is a narrow fit, but it fits my head really well. So if you think your head is about the same size as mine, a medium style will fit your face just fine. It does not look oversized, so don't be afraid to choose medium styles in your home try-on. I didn't try on any wide styles, mostly because I'm just not attracted to bigger glasses like that. Um, but if you do feel like you're somebody who has to buy bigger hats or maybe you stretch out your glasses every time, moral of the story is they fit lots of people's heads. So. You can't go wrong in choosing a style. So another way that Warby Parker has done a really good job of combating the cons associated with the lack of brick and mortar stores, maybe the time that it takes to come in or the problems that may arise when your glasses do come in is the fit. So if you have to take your glasses to a different sort of optometry place to get them to actually maybe bend the earpieces to fit around your ears better or adjust it because I have one crooked ear so sometimes I have to get that adjusted um, they'll actually reimburse you up to fifty dollars of the cost that it of the cost that it takes of the cost of the cost. They'll reimburse you up to fifty dollars of the cost of getting your glasses adjusted by somebody else other than them. So again, they're taking every step to make this an easy process and have it be like they have a real store. So I'm gonna link the website below for you in case you're interested in buying some Warby Parker glasses. If you have any comments or questions about the process, I can be sure to comment back and help you out with that. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and the product rundown on Warby Parker. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Also, I think it's kind of funny that I'm sitting here talking about glasses because if you were to ask my sixth grade self if I would ever want to talk about glasses or be excited about glasses, she would have slapped you. I cried for like three days when I found out I had to get glasses and then the ones that I picked out were Mary Kate and Ashley brand and they had no rims because I insisted on getting rimless glasses because I didn't want anybody to see them and I truly believed that exactly one half of the glasses were invisible on my face because my parents convinced me you couldn't see it at all. So thanks for lying I guess in that sense but